So according to my latest YouTube community poll, most of you guys are having great battery life on the latest iOS 18.3 and 18.3.1. However, there's still many users out there who still struggle with battery life on their iPhones on the latest iOS 18.3.1. So today, I wanted to get on here and share with you guys the options and settings that I've adjusted to get great or even excellent battery life on the latest iOS 18.3.1, 18.3, and beyond. Obviously, these are going to be general settings that you may want to adjust in order to improve the battery life and perhaps even stop crazy battery drain, which has been reported especially on older devices. So the first feature that I want to talk about is most important to me, I believe, because oftentimes we forget about apps background activity. So let's jump into settings here. And let me explain myself. So Apple themselves mentions that if you prevent background activity for certain apps, your battery life could improve. So let's jump into general here. Let's go into background app refresh. And right there it is. Apple says that this may improve the battery life of your iPhone, as you can see right there. So you can jump into your iPhone settings and read it for yourself. So how do you identify apps that are constantly draining the battery? and running in the background. Well, it's very simple. You can actually go into the battery section of your device right here in settings. And then you wanna scroll down and you wanna look for the tag background activity. So oftentimes for me is the Facebook apps like WhatsApp, you see right there it says background activity. You see there a 2%. Also Instagram oftentimes runs in the background, right there it is, you see. Instagram also with the background activity tag there. So what you wanna do is you identify the applications that are constantly running in the background and then head on over into general, then go into the background app refresh options and you can turn off those apps individually. So let's go ahead and find Instagram and let's go ahead and find the WhatsApp application. So Instagram, right there it is. If you turn it off, it won't continue to drain your battery and WhatsApp should be at the bottom of the list here and you can go ahead and turn it off as well. Obviously, you'll look for your own applications and toggle them off individually, or you can actually go ahead and just turn every single app off by going to the general right here, options right here, and then go into the off and select the off options for all background activity. Obviously, you can also have the apps only run during Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi or cell service, but I prefer just to have it running on both and then just identify the apps that I want to turn off in order to not have every single app not running in the background. Now, one question that I typically get is, will I still get notifications if I turn off the background activity? And the answer to that is yes. Your app will continue to deliver notifications. It's just the app won't refresh until you actually launch it and start using it again. So again, Apple themselves mentioned just by adjusting the settings, your battery life could improve prove anywhere from two to six percent depending on how many apps you disable. Next I want to talk about the app updates feature on iPhone which is a great feature to have and enable on your device however this could also cause battery drain and you can manage this by simply going into settings heading over into the app section and jumping into the app store settings right here. And I have all these options turned off. You see here the app downloads for other devices. So basically if you turn this off, your apps that you download on your iPhone won't automatically download on other devices. Uh, right here you have the app updates, which is most important because oftentimes when you're out and about, if you have five or six apps that are constantly downloading updates in the background, then that will drain the battery of your iPhone. So I turn that off as well. And you have the in-app content, which also is something that you can download once you launch the app instead of actually that happening in the background when you're out and about or on a long trip. And there's also one more option down here, which is the automatic downloads. So once you turn this off, obviously you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and update your applications manually. So what you wanna do is if you decide to turn this off, Every now and then, I wanna say at least once a week, jump into the App Store, and then head on over into your account on the top right here. And then you wanna go ahead and refresh by holding and swiping down just like so. And down here, you'll see any updates available. You see that? I can go ahead and check every single app update and decide if I do wanna update the application based on the release notes. Not only that, but these apps don't update in the background, therefore preserving the battery life, especially when I'm out and about, as I mentioned. So right here, you can go ahead and see 
what updates are available and what the new updates will bring to the application. So not only will you be able to see the type of updates that you're going to be, you know, downloading for your apps, but you'll also preserve the battery life of your iPhone as you do so. So now I'm going to shift my attention over to haptics, right? The vibration feedback provided by the iPhone from the Taptic engine inside, which is constantly pushing out those haptics for your device, bringing the device to life. And this is super cool, right? Because when you long press on something, you get that feedback from the screen. When you're typing on the keyboard, you get that feedback. But Apple mentions that there's one option that if you do turn it off under haptics, can improve the battery life of your iPhone by a good two to 4% in some cases. So let's jump into settings here and let's go under the sounds and haptics options right there. Scroll all the way to the bottom and go under the keyboard feedback options right here. And this one option right here is what Apple recommends you turn off, the haptics for the keyboard. So when you're typing on your iPhone, obviously you get that feedback from the actual Taptic engine, which is constantly moving that motor, draining the battery life of your iPhone. And again, Apple themselves mentions that if you decide to turn this feature off, you can improve the battery life of your iPhone by a good two to 4%. So if you keep adding all these percentages, your battery life will last a lot longer. Now there's some additional options that I recommend you look into for example under general airdrop right here we have the bring devices together i never use this option any longer i just prefer to use airdrop so for those of you that don't know this allows you to hold the top of your iphone to another iphone to swap information like phone numbers contact information and things like that and even airdrop but i'd rather just use the standard airdrop saving battery life on my device and there's also one more option to look into which is the always on display for those of you that have the always on display you can go under display and brightness go under always on display and you can turn off the wallpaper options or the notification options for the always on display or turn them off altogether to improve the battery life by a good one to two percent in addition there you guys have it just by adding all these minor things you can get great battery life on your device let me know in those comments down below if you used it come back a month later and let me know how's the battery life for you thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace